It seems that almost every discussion of operating procedure in amateur radio involves the issues of overmodulation and interference. It is generally understood that when audio is overamplified or processed, the waveform becomes distorted or clipped. It is that clipping, or flat topping, that causes spurious audio signals to exceed the natural frequency response of normal audio. Nice sine waves of human speech become square waves. Well, let's overmodulate a little audio to demonstrate why changing sine waves to square waves is a bad idea. I'll repeat that and boost the gain a lot now. Well, let's overmodulate a little audio to demonstrate why changing sine waves to square waves is a bad idea. That was more than just harder to understand. It was exceeding the normal voice bandwidth. We know that distortion results from normal audio becoming populated with square waves, but what are the inherent qualities of square waves that make them so, well, unaudio like? Simply stated, a square wave is a composite of a single frequency and all odd numbered harmonics, each of which equals the initial frequency's amplitude divided by the harmonic number. It doesn't matter what frequency we pick, the formula applies to audio and RF alike. We'll start with a random bass frequency at a random level. If we mix a second frequency, at the third harmonic, with a level of the original divided by the harmonic number, 3, that is the first component of the square wave. Then we add the fifth harmonic at the level divided by 5. Then the seventh harmonic at the level divided by 7. And so on, and so on, and so on. Theoretically, to infinity. Let's see it work in real life. Let's start with an audio frequency of 100 hertz and a level of 10 volts. The next iteration would be a second tone of 300 hertz, the third odd harmonic, at a level of 10 volts divided by 3, or 3.3 volts. When mixed together, you can see the bare beginnings of a square wave. Now we create a third tone of 500 hertz, the fifth harmonic, at a level of 10 volts divided by 5, or 2 volts. Now when we mix that in, the square wave becomes more pronounced. Next we create a fourth tone of 700 hertz, the seventh harmonic, at a level of 10 volts divided by 7, or 1.4 volts. Mix that in, and we are closer still. Finally, for this demonstration, we create a fifth tone of 900 hertz, at a level of 10 divided by 9, or 1.1 volts. You can see where this is going. If we keep this up, generating more and more tones of progressive odd harmonics and diminishing levels, a theoretically perfect square wave is the end result. Now back to the discussion of distortion, clipping, and overmodulation. If I allow a perfect sine wave of one frequency to become overamplified, it will, in extreme cases, become a perfect square wave. And what does a square wave contain? All the odd harmonics of the original, and the first few are at a significant level. Now my pure audio tone has become a raucous foghorn of all manner of unintended frequencies, all of which your radio transmitter will happily transmit to anyone unfortunate enough to be sharing the band with you. <laughs>